Today's video is something of a confession. I posted a deck highlight over the weekend with Dr. Octopus and Mojo, and someone called me out in the comments correctly that it turns out this deck really wasn't mine. It was something that TLSG had featured just the day before, and I feel like I needed to apologize for stealing their deck list. But then something else interesting happened, and shortly after the comment about me stealing the deck list from TLSG, who had posted it the day before, someone commented that this was actually originally a Mogwai deck list, and after doing a little bit of digging, it actually looks like, yes, Mogwai was the one who had originally posted this deck list with Dr. Octopus and Mojo and Debris and stuff over a month ago. And this got me thinking, how far does this rabbit hole go? If I stole it from TLSG and TLSG stole it from Mogwai, did Mogwai steal it from somewhere else? So I'm shifting through YouTube archives like a detective, trying to figure out who was the original inventor of this archetype. And I find out that Cozy, the YouTube goat himself for Marvel Snap, was the person that posted this deck list three months ago. Viper is in fact pure evil, and perhaps Cozy Snap was the one to originate this. But this isn't where the trail ended. I kept looking and uncovering more and more deck lists, and lo and behold, I came almost full circle, TLSG, playing a viewer submitted deck idea five months ago with Debris and Viper and other cards that Cozy and Mogwai and myself had all been highlighting in these deck videos. Was this it? Had I finally hit the bottom of the barrel? Not quite. I came across one more video from over half a year ago, six months ago. Viper and Debris Very Deadly Christmas posted on, wait, Hoglandia Marvel Snap, me? So I stole it from TLSG, who stole it from Mogwai, who stole it from Cozy, who stole it from a TLSG viewer, who that viewer stole it from my channel six months ago? Did I steal this deck list from myself? Huh. All right. Hopefully you got some amusement out of the extended bit at the start of this video, but I hope that maybe that bit did a good job of highlighting the absurdity of something that is common in not just Marvel Snap, but basically every card game community I've ever been a part of, and that is this concept of deck ownership that there is one original person that was the first person that could have possibly conceived to put a particular group of cards together. In this case that I'm talking about today, putting all of the cards that add cards to your opponent's board together, and that they've somehow minted this idea as their own original thing, and they deserve eternal, everlasting credit for having figured out that combination of cards. The reality is, while a lot of people seem to act like building a deck of cards in a game like Marvel Snap is something akin to painting the Mona Lisa, in reality, deck building is a lot more similar to building with Legos. You can make some unique combinations and you can come up with specific details that maybe the people that created the Legos weren't envisioning that you would put on your project, but ultimately, all the pieces that you're building with are ones that were handed to you that look in a very specific way, and the optimal combinations of them are ones that the company that made the pieces is very much aware of and is expecting the people playing with those pieces to figure out and utilize. This also isn't to say that you shouldn't relish in enjoying the experience of building decks. I actually think Marvel Snap is one of the best deck building card games I've ever touched. The fact that every deck building decision you make in Marvel Snap is incredibly impactful because you see 75% of your deck in a given game is super satisfying to tune and optimize and get the details of a deck correct. I just think at the same time, while you can enjoy that experience and feel a great deal of satisfaction from getting it right, it's also important to acknowledge that there's probably dozens or hundreds or possibly even thousands of other people out there parallel to you working on similar ideas. 
I can't tell you how many times I've had someone drop by my Twitch live stream or leave a comment in a YouTube video, hey, you should give credit to the person that built this deck originally when the place that the deck that we're playing in that given moment came from is a blank deck editor that I just started putting together things that looked like they worked well together. Other times, I have a deck list given to me specifically by a particular person, but the question mark there is like, how do I know that that person started from a blank deck editor, that they deserve credit for creating this deck idea that likely has dozens or hundreds or thousands of people working on it? To close with a historical anecdote today that maybe lets you into a little bit of my nerdier side that I don't always get into on this Highlights channel, if two people can simultaneously discover calculus while working in parallel to each other without stealing the concept from either side, then perhaps we should all just accept that nothing is original when it comes to deck building. We should enjoy the process and we shouldn't really be pointing fingers or claiming that credit is due for original ideas in a place where we're ultimately just building with Legos. This video is pretty different than a lot of the other stuff I do on this channel, whether it's gameplay or game news updates. I'd love to know if you enjoy ramblings like this on card game related things as they relate to Marvel Snap. If you did enjoy my ramblings, be sure to snap that like button to help them reach a few more people. And if you happen to be new here, thanks for sticking around all the way through the end of the video. Consider subscribing. I post Marvel Snap deck highlights, game news updates, other tidbits here seven days a week. I'd love to see you back again. Happy snapping and hope Hopefully see you again tomorrow, folks.